Hello and welcome in Xweaver X. Today I'm going to show you how you can get infinite crypto keys on Black Ops 3 completely free to you. You don't have to pay me a dime and you don't need to be paying anybody else to hack your account for you. Now with that being said, let's hop right into the video. So I'm going to have all my links down in my description so you can easily follow along. So just follow along like so. So the first thing you want to do is download WinWar. Now if you don't have WinWar, you can come here to the website, download the latest version of WinWar. Or you could use 7-Zip if you'd rather use 7-Zip. Either one of those are going to work completely fine. Go ahead and grab your WinWar. Uh, after you grab WinWar or 7-Zip, you want to come over here to System Informer. We're going to grab the one right here, System Informer, setup.exe. Go ahead and download that. And this will start to download automatically for you. Okay, once we have the System Informer downloaded, we want to go over here to Microsoft Visual C++. And you wanna grab the download that corresponds to your CPU. Now, if you have a 32-bit system, you're gonna grab x86. If you have a 64-bit system, you're gonna grab the x64. If you're not familiar, come down here to the system bar and type system information, pardon me, the search bar, type in system information. It's gonna pop this up and then you're gonna come here to system type. And as you see here, I have an X base 64 PC. So that's a 64 bit processor. If it's not 64, it's going to be 32. So grab the X86. But for this tutorial, I have a 64 bit. So we're going to grab the X64. Go ahead and click that to download it. OK, and once that's downloaded, you're going to come over here to the MXT release. Now, this is going to be the mod menu we're going to be using to mod Black Ops 3. You want to scroll down here to the fourth line where it says BO3 MXT Remastered 1.1.2. Now at the time of this recording, this is 1.1.2. This could be updated if uh, you're watching this in the future. So if there's a different version here, that is why. So go ahead and grab this link here. And then you want to go ahead and hit download. So once you have those four files downloaded, the next thing you want to do is come in here to your winwar.exe, double click that. It's going to pop up a user account control. Go ahead and click yes to go ahead and get that installed. Now, because I already have this downloaded, I'm not going to install winwar because I already have a winwar with a license on my computer. So I don't want to mess that up. But all you're going to do is go through the installation process, leave everything tipped by default. Next, 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 finish. And then once you have that done, you're caught up. So now the next thing you want to do is come here to the MXT release. You're going to right click that and you want to click extract to MXT release 1.1.2 here. Go ahead and click that. Now that's going to create the folder that we need. The next thing you want to do is grab Visual Studio C++, double click that. Now I already have this installed, so this is why this is popping up. But for you, it's going to pop up a user account control. Go ahead and click yes and go through the installation process. Next, 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 finished and it might prompt you to restart your computer. Now, a lot of you watching this probably already have this installed as this is a game library that a lot of games use. But anyways, once you get this done, just go ahead, finish, restart your computer if it prompts you to restart the computer. And then we'll be here at the next part of the tutorial. And then the next thing you want to do is install System Informer. Now, when you go to install this, again, this is gonna pop up a user account control. Go ahead and click yes and click install. I'm gonna leave everything at default here. And then we can leave the box ticked here to go ahead and run the program once it's finished downloading. Okay, so when this pops up, we can just minimize it for now. And now we have everything we need to go ahead and hack Black Ops 3. So let's go ahead and do that. So now you need to go ahead and open up Black Ops 3. Okay, when Black Ops 3 opens up, go into menu here, options, graphics, Set this to windowed mode. If you have this in full screen or windows borderless, you're going to have issues when trying to inject the game. So go ahead and make sure this is in windowed mode like so. And then from here, what we want to do is go into multiplayer menu, public match. And then once we're in here, what we want to do is hit the windows key and bring up our system informer here. Now you can either just come down here to the taskbar and click it or you can come down here and type in System Informer and it'll bring it up like so. So from here, what you want to do is be under the Processes tab like so. Scroll down until you find the Black Ops 3.exe. It's going to be down here towards the bottom. But here it is right here. Left click it so it's highlighted in the blue. And then you want to go ahead and right click it. 
come down here to properties, options, make sure it's under modules here. So click modules, options, load module, load, and then you want to navigate to wherever your MXT release folder is that you went ahead and unzipped. And then you want to click the DX11 right here, double click that. Now this is gonna pop up a Discord server. You can just go ahead and click no, you do not want to join. This is just if you want additional help with this mod tool. I don't ever click yes to join. I just click X out of it. Not a big deal. Okay, and then what we can do is minimize our system informer here. Now this is the mod tool here. It's gonna pop up a little user um, additional information. You can click I understand. Now this is the mod menu here. So I wanna go over some things with you really quick. So when we click X here, it's gonna go ahead and close the menu and you click F5 on your keyboard to bring that mod menu back up. Now when this mod menu is pulled up, we cannot navigate anywhere inside Call of Duty. As you see, I'm not able to navigate anywhere in the Call of Duty game. But if we click X, then we're able to do that. So what we wanna do is go in here into the black market. So go ahead and click that. Now you see I have 9,986 crypto keys currently. We're going to click F5 to bring up that menu. Come over here to the black market tab, click that. And then we wanna to go to game mode game type, switch this to multiplayer, currency increasement, we can leave right where it's at. And then currency interval, go ahead and slide that down to around 250-ish. And then what we wanna do is start currency increasement and let's go ahead and enable this. Are you going to see up here that I'm going to be earning crypto keys as you see right here? Now this can take a little bit of time. It is going to refresh. So if you think it's frozen, it's actually not. It's just because it is adding uh, increments to your account here. And this is in 240 milliseconds every time that it's increasing. And it's increasing by 20 uh, cryptocurrencies right here every 240 milliseconds. So that's what that means. And once you're happy with all the crypto keys that you want, you're gonna come back in here. This is very important that you do this. Come in here to start currency increasement and switch this to disabled. Now, the reason we wanna disable this is because you don't wanna come in here to the black market and open supply drops with your crypto keys while you're earning crypto keys. So make sure you come in here and disable this before you try to open any supply drops, okay? Now, really quick before I end this video, I do wanna show you something else really quick. You can come down here to unlock all contracts, triple play supply drops, and no dupe supply drops. Mark all of those as tick. Hit the X button here, and then back out. Come back into the black market. And now you're going to see you have all of the contracts that were available. You have the no dupe supply drops. You come in here to contracts, you're going to see that we have all of the contracts that were available across the game life cycle here. Back out of that. Coming in here to triple play, we can click that, trade for 500 crypto keys, continue, and then scroll down. This is how you get your guaranteed range DLC weapon and DLC melee weapon. You just go ahead and do that. You rinse and repeat it, come back up, trade 500 crypto keys, continue, scroll down. And as you see now, we have two of these. So you can just do that for all of the 20 plus DLC weapons and then have all of the weapons here on your account on Black Ops 3. I'll go ahead and open one just to show you. I just went ahead and unlocked the Banshee uh, DLC shotgun. I'll go ahead and click this one more time. I have another one. We now have the KVK 99 millimeter weapon on our account as well. And when you guys are done using the tool, all we have to do is just close out of the game. Close out a system informer here. Come down here to the magnifying glass. Type in add or remove. Click that, it's gonna bring in the add or remove programs feature. Scroll down to system informer here. Click uninstall, uninstall. It's gonna pop up a user account control, click yes. And then you can go ahead and click uninstall. And if you want all the traces of system informer to be completely removed from your PC, you can go ahead and click this box here, remove application settings, and then click uninstall. Now, because I use this all the time, I'm just gonna leave it on my PC. And then you can come in here to your downloads folder where you have everything that you just did. You can just go ahead and highlight it and then click delete. 
and then come over here to your recycling bin, right click it and hit empty recycle bin and delete. Now you have fully removed everything that you just downloaded on here. And uh, yeah, that's all there is to it. So there we have it guys. That is how you get infinite crypto keys on your Black Ops 3 account. I have other videos showing you how to get infinite gobble gums, how to unlock all the camos, including dark matter, start the game with the RK5 starting pistol, and get those limited time exclusive camos such as the Cherry Fizz as well. And again, if you found this helpful, share it with a friend. Comment down below, let me know what you think about this and sub to the channel if you're interested in any more content like this. Um, anything that you do really does help my channel a lot. And I truly, truly wanna emphasize how appreciative I am of you watching my video and leaving a comment. It really means a lot to me. Thank you so much. We'll catch you on the next video. As always, peace and prosper, much love. We'll be seeing you on the next one. Bye.